Islani. I'm a teaching artist with PS Arts and I teach visual arts and music in Santa Monica. Welcome to Tabletop Art. Today's artist is Nick Cave. Originally from Missouri, he now resides in Chicago and he's most well known for a sculpture style of art where he makes sound suits. He blends together fashion, performance art, and sculpture to really make these sound suits come to life. So let's have a look. And remember, always look for lines, shapes, color, texture, and space. Often Nick Cave uses dance troops to climb inside his sound suits and to dance up escalators at shopping malls. Can you imagine how fun it would be to see them in real life? So today you're going to need glue and scissors and maybe you want to make yours out of sequins or buttons, um, little gems. You can use pom-poms, yarn, and you're going to need an old box or some cardboard. Maybe you have some excess cardboard laying around from shipping and things like that. I highly recommend that you disinfect this by leaving it out in the sun for a while, but make sure you don't get it wet because cardboard smells when it's wet. So let's get started. I would either cut the flap off of one of these boxes, or even better, if you have a little thinner cardboard box, that's great. Sometimes boxes like this even have inserts like this, which, I mean, that could make its own little sound suit right there. Um, so just whatever you have is okay to use. You may need some help from an adult for the cutting part. So where you wanna start is maybe taking a black marker or some kind of pencil to do a design on your cardboard. And this insert piece from that cardboard box I thought would be perfect because I kind of like the shape of the triangle here and I thought I could make some arms in here and maybe just cut out a little area for legs there. If you notice with the Nick Cave sound suits, they don't have faces. So don't worry about a face. It's all about the just the texture of the body. I'm going to start by just putting a line where the head will be. And this will be the body. And I'm going to cut a little shape out here for legs on the sides. And then here I'm going to put some arms that go up. You're going to, you're going to need two lines for that purpose because you can't cut it out with just one line or you have nothing left. Now again, you may need an adult to help you cut, but if you're going to cut it yourself, what I suggest that you do is to cut the excess cardboard off first, just so you have less to work with. turn the cardboard or turn the paper that you're cutting rather than to try to cut around the whole thing. Just cut to the edge of the line. Just get it out piece by piece. Very careful of your fingers. I 
have this sh the initial shape of my sound suit. Next thing I'm, I'm gonna do is just pour some, some of these different sequins and gems and buttons for a design around my sound suit. I also have sequins here. There's more sequins with different designs on them that are kind of fun. So I'll add some of those inside the top of this to work with. All right, I was having a little trouble getting my glue out, but now it's coming out. I'm gonna put a lot of white glue there. And remember, your items will not stick until it is dry with the white glue. You can do patterns or just do random pieces. Another thing is be sure to put one piece on at a time and not to just, I mean, Sometimes you can just put a bunch of glue on and throw, and then whatever sticks, sticks, and then whatever else falls off. But it's nice when you're doing these sound suits to really put one piece at a time to finish it up. So I'm gonna put this aside to dry, and while that is happening, I have another one here, and I wanted to show you a couple of things that you might run across. This is kind of shaped like a donut, so I might put a bunch of sprinkle looking things around this part, but I wanna take the round hole out here in the middle. Now again, you might be getting help from a parent to or an older sibling to help you cut this um, cardboard because it is a little tough. So to cut something out in the middle, what you wanna start with, and just be careful of your fingers, make sure you're positioning them so that you don't hurt yourself. And you poke a hole, first of all, in the middle. And you can even do that poking part first, which is helpful, with a pen or a pencil to get a nice hole in it first. And then, you just take your scissors in there, and you want to cut little slits to the sides. going around since it's a circle and cut little slits. Then you're just going to pull the slits up and cut them off. And you keep doing that all the way around. Now it is a little hard to get this cardboard edge perfectly smooth so what I do at the end is just go back along and smooth the edges back. And still I would go over and smooth it a little bit more, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna show you now how to make the stand for the back of your sound suit. You could just fold it in half and put one half at the bottom and one half at the top. That's one way to do it, but since we have the hole and this part at the bottom, um, I'm gonna make like a staircase to go behind it so it won't show. Okay, so first fold it in half, and cardboard's a little tricky to fold. It'll bend wrong if you're not careful, so you just gotta kind of force it a little bit. So bend it in half, and then in half on both those sides as well. And then you're going to tape a small piece of it to the back. I'm going to actually cut that a little bit 
so it doesn't show through the hole. So this is how it'll look. I'm just going to take some tape. And tape it on both sides like that. And then sometimes you have to mess with your fold a little bit here. There we go. Now it'll stand up. Remember to send pictures of your art to craftbag at yahoo.com. See you next time on Tabletop Art. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment.